Health Professions Week folks. I am Dr. Joanne Yanez, and I'm the Executive Director for the Association of Accredited Naturopathic Medical Colleges. I'm here to, you, to talk to you today a little bit about naturopathic medicine, some of the basics, just so that you understand what this awesome and exciting career field has in store. So with that, I am going to uh, go ahead and start talking about something that's near and dear to my heart. So I myself trained as a naturopathic physician, I graduated with an ND, uh, completed a residency in family practice, and then I went down the academic road, uh, taught and was involved in accreditation and public policy, and then went and got my master's in public health uh, and now run an association. So a little bit about what excited me about naturopathic medicine is right up on this screen. The six principles of naturopathic medicine were what I thought I wanted to be as a doctor and I just didn't know it was all in this package of being a naturopathic doctor. And so the six principles of naturopathic medicine, first do no harm, which uh, NDs interpret as the least invasive and most gentle approaches typically when managing patient care. Recognizing the healing power of nature, that many things within us and around us have the ability to heal us. And so the healing power of nature is one of these very strong six tenants. And you'll also find sometimes NDs are uh, environmentally concerned, social, socially concerned as well, identifying and treating the cause. Uh, so my last name is Yanez. And when I used to uh, teach and, and uh, work with students, my students had a nickname for me and it was Dr. Y, but not Dr. Y as in YMCA, Dr. Y as in W-H-Y because I was always pushing them to find the why. Why was somebody sick? Why was this headache showing up? Why was their stomach upset? Why did they have anxiety? Why, why, why? So that we could focus on the why and not just focus on symptoms. And so when NDs were working with patients, we're treating the whole person. And then we're really striving to teach them how to stay well and prevent disease. And that rounds out the SINS principles. The, uh, the next slide that I have here is titled how NDs, whoops, uh-oh, let's pause that. Went on auto drive there. Uh, how NDs think. And so this is also known as the naturopathic therapeutic order. And so if you look at this pyramid at the or triangle, at the very bottom is establishing the foundations for optimal health. So what this means is NDs are going to be addressing some of the basics. What are the things that you need to be healthy? Sleep, exercise, good food and good nutrition, social support, good thoughts, you know, kind of all of the basics. And so NDs really work at the bottom of this pyramid. And then from there, they may stimulate self-healing. And at the very top of the pyramid is suppressing pathology or pushing down symptoms by the use of high force interventions like drugs and surgery. So one of the common myths about naturopathic medicine is that we're opposed to drugs or medications and things of that sort. And it couldn't be farther from the truth. Honestly, though, it's really based on what the patient needs. And if the patient can be, uh, have their health restored by the foundational components, then we work there. If there's something more uh, urgent and emergent, we may go up that pyramid as the patient's presentation demands. So oftentimes ND students are saying things like, well, I want to be a doctor, but, and there's a lot of times there's a but in there and the but may be followed by, well, but I really love nutrition or I want to have a deeper relationship with my patient. I, you know, I, I, I won't be fulfilled with, you know, five to 15 minute visits. Uh, or I, I really appreciate the mind body connection or mental health. Uh, and sometimes we'll hear from students that, you know, maybe they have traveled abroad or they are from a different culture that recognizes the power of herbs and, you know, and all of that. And so we have had students come from all those different backgrounds. And sometimes they've been patients themselves where either them themselves or, the, or a loved one has been ill, turned to natural therapies, and they saw how powerful it truly could be. So again, we talked about uh, some of these student profiles, social concern. Uh, you know, oftentimes uh, there's a spirit of volunteerism or giving back and understanding that there is also a, an art to medicine and a science. Uh, so our students kind of run the gamut between younger students and career changers. Uh, and, uh, and so, 
Um, and they also run the gamut with undergraduate majors. You don't have to have had your traditional science background pre-med to go to ND school. Um, some students come from different backgrounds and they may have to go back and take some prerequisites, uh, but ultimately, you know, the majors and the backgrounds from people are pretty diverse and varied. So the curriculum for naturopathic medical school is a total of a minimum of 4,100 uh, credit hours. And uh, I always talk about the ologies. So all of these are the ologies that you get in, uh, in naturopathic medicine school. So the biomedical education is very similar to conventional medicine where uh, you are covering the foundational course, the foundational coursework to become a physician. So you need to have anatomy. And I always joke, the bones don't move when you study them in naturopathic school. They are where they are. Uh, physiology is the same. But I will say, though, that when you are taking some of these core foundational courses, they are going to be related to the whole person. So when you're taking biochemistry, you're going to study all the biochemical pathways, but then you're also going to learn about the interactions of that biochemistry and the biochemical pathways on hormones, on uh, gastrointestinal health, on mental health, and so on, and how it's all connected. Uh, and then in the clinical components of the education, you're getting more of the, the you know, diagnosis and treatment of these following list of ologies. And, um, and then you're also getting the naturopathic therapeutics. And that really is where natural medicine, naturopathic medicine differs. Uh, so in your clinical education, which is a minimum of 1200 in person hours, uh, clock hours, uh, it's their team-based approaches. They're going to be in academic centers in community teaching clinics, uh, in specialty clinics and so on. Uh, and it may start as early as the first year. And so those naturopathic therapeutics I talked about are nutrition, mind-body medicine, lifestyle counseling, uh, hydrotherapy, homeopathy, botanical medicine, uh, world medicines like acupuncture may be woven in, like Ayurveda may be woven in throughout the coursework as well. Um, and they can also be uh, given as electives. Um, and then there's going to be physical medicine. So manipulation, uh, you know, working with the body, and so uh, the prerequisites that are required for a naturopathic school, uh, bachelor's degree, and you know, like I talked about, your major isn't quite as important as it is how you're doing and those prerequisite courses. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, additional coursework may be helpful. Sometimes students will say, well, you know, what should I, you know, are there any other courses that I should take? I've gotten all the prerequisites done. I have some extra room before I graduate. And for those folks, I will say, well, you know, one, what are you interested in? And two, what are maybe some of your weaker points that you could use a little bit of brushing up on? Um, and so for some students that that may be, you know, an extra anatomy class or a biochemistry class. Uh, for others, it might be a business class. Maybe they are they're wanting to open up a practice uh, or a business when they get out of their, their program. And so for them, some business courses might actually be helpful. So, you know, it's really looking at you as the individual and what your goals are and what is the education that you need to deliver you to those goals. Uh, so again, prerequisites, uh, GPA, prerequisite courses, the MCAT is not a requirement. If you have taken it, it will be reviewed, but it is not a requirement for application to naturopathic school. Um, we're tending to look at more of a holistic picture uh, and uh, really understanding that students come from many different backgrounds when they come to ND school. And so their picture may not look exactly like the cookie cutter medical path. Uh, and, uh, and so we do have a centralized application service for three of our locations. Uh, we also, you know, transcripts, letters of recommendation, all of that would be uh, pretty standard across the schools. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, sometimes I'm asked, well, you know, what's the difference between naturopathic medicine and maybe some of the other career paths? So this is uh, based on MDs and DOs and nurse practitioners in primary care training. So not specialty training or anything like that, but, and these are based on the competencies that were compiled uh, for each of the professions. And so you'll see across the board for every one of these professions in primary care, that some of these foundational basics are part of the education. Medical diagnosis, patient management, communication, professionalism, these are all core to anyone in a primary care position. Uh, additionally, the coursework is also similar in ND school, but at the bottom of this is really where naturopathic school, so you know the, the 
accreditation is there, the biomedical sciences are taught, the you know, pharmaceutical training, clinical judgment, problem solving skills, all of that is you're going to get across any degree. Um, but really where you where naturopathic medicine excels uh, are those naturopathic therapeutics. So the lifestyle counseling, botanical medicine, uh, physical medicine, manipulation, nutrition. Uh, I, I always joke my, uh, my spouse uh, was trained as a conventional physician. And I asked him when, uh, you know, when we were early on dating, well, you know, so we were talking about nutrition and, oh, well, you know, I, I know quite a bit about nutrition. And he said, oh, well, I've got some nutrition courses too. And I said, how many credits? He's like, I don't know, eight, 10, 12, maybe. And I said, well, I've got a couple hundred <laughs> plus, you know, two, three years of putting it into practice and training before practicing. So nutrition is very, very core. And one of the next slides that I have uh, will, will really demonstrate that too. So, you know, another question is where do NDs work? Uh, and so you'll find that we are in outpatient clinics, we're in concierge or telemedicine practices, especially now telemed has really inc increased exponentially across the board. Uh, administration, research, academia, and the natural products industry, and that's an area folks don't always think of, but the natural products industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. It has grown exponentially in the years uh, that we, you know, since, since I've graduated and, and it's just progressively growing as well. And that would be natural foods, natural supplements, uh, natural ther therapies and products and so on. Uh, and so the career options are really boundless here. We have folks that often will say, oh, I love the flexibility. I can you know, see patients part of the week and write or teach or have my own private business. And, uh, and folks really enjoy that flexibility of creating their own lifestyle that supports the type of life they want to have. So earlier when I said, you know, we get a lot of nutrition, well, here, here's the proof in the pudding. Um, so when we surveyed uh, naturopathic doctors, what are they doing? What, what kind of practices, what patients are they seeing? Uh, the bulk majority were focused on digestive issues and nutrition. Um, and then we saw things like immune support and mental health. Uh, and I think, you know, everybody, especially right now, recognizes how much mental health is really a solid component of our health. And when, you know, lockdown has been hard on a lot of people, a lot of the stressors and strains of the pandemic have been really hard. And uh, mental health is a huge component of how we feel overall. Uh, and so the rest of these are other areas of, of interest that you'll see NDs predominantly focusing on. Uh, employment settings, and these don't add to 100 because like I said earlier, sometimes people have multiple places where they're working, uh, but solo private practice and the blue is the US and the red is Canada. Uh, so you'll see folks, the majority of people are practicing, uh, but then you'll have folks that are teaching or freelancing and uh, in that natural products industry and, and down the line uh, in different locations. So one thing that I will say uh, about naturopathic medicine or the folks that are drawn to this career uh, really do report high career satisfaction, oftentimes because they feel for the first time they've held a job, uh, had a career that really truly aligns with their philosophy, their, their beliefs, how they feel as a human, how they wanna walk in this world. And so, uh, as a result, we see now no profession is ever going to have 100% satisfaction. I don't think I've ever seen one. Uh, but what we do find is that people in the naturopathic career often will say that there's a very, very high level of satisfaction. So uh, patient visits are also a little bit different. So the first office call, the first patient visit is often going to be one and a half, one to one and a half hours with return visits being a bit longer as well. Uh, and this is really to get to that why and to get to that root cause with that patient to be health detectives, to understand what's going on, why are they, why is this disease presenting itself and what is the education that the patient needs to get them to health? Uh, so it does take a little bit longer and it can include full histories and physical exams and labs and then referrals when needed. Uh, so and naturopathic medicine is regulated. The board examinations are called NPLEX. So there's a part one and two uh, in Ontario, it's called CONO uh, and, uh, and so, that is what's necessary for licensure and regulation across uh, the US and Canada. 
And then here are where the naturopathic schools are located uh, that are members of the AANMC. And so you'll see uh, we have schools all across uh, the continent. And so with that, I conclude my talk. I have uh, two upcoming events from AANMC that we'll be hosting next month is uh, digestive issues and is it SIBO, small intestinal bowel overgrowth. Uh, and then in May, we're going to be talking hachu achu allergy time. So uh, with that, uh, I will take some questions. So I see, let's, I'm going to stop my share here. So I can see the questions. Okay, so we have a question from Instagram. Uh, would the GRE or another entrance exam help my application? So it's not necessary. As I said, uh, the, uh, the applications are really taking the applicant based on your GPA and grades, uh, your, your personal statements that, you know, the research you've done in the profession to demonstrate that you are, you have done your homework and this is the path that you want to take. Um, and so uh, GRE isn't necessary. Uh, another question from Instagram, how can I shadow an ND or talk to somebody? Uh, so you can uh, contact info at aanmc.org and we'd be happy to connect you with, uh, with somebody. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's often, you know, something where, uh, you can also contact the schools and the schools have alumni that they, uh, refer folks to. So, um, either way you can contact us at info at aanmc.org and, or the schools, if you're interested in one or more of the programs and we can all get you in touch with some alumni to, to talk to. I always tell students it's really helpful to speak with uh, alumni to start to network early, uh, you know, go to conferences, you know, I know now they're online, it's, it's a little bit tougher to network than normal circumstances. Uh, but, you know, talk, you know, if you see somebody's website, and it looks really cool. And what they do looks really cool. Give them a call. They may, they may be open to, you know, talking over a virtual tea or something like that. So definitely try and reach out. Um, another question over Instagram, uh, what is the work-life balance like? So uh, what I will say is it's going to vary, honestly, how you set up your career. So when we did our income survey of NDs, uh, income was related somewhat uh, to the number of patients seen per week, geographic distribution. Uh, and I think it's very uh, it's going to really be varied based on what, uh, you know, what people are trying to do with their life. You know, are, are, where are you in your life? What is important to you? What are your goals? And so the work-life balance is what you make it. Uh, you know, I, I, I have a, a number of friends of mine who have wanted more flexibility in their lives. They wanted to be able to travel. One of my friends, uh, she works she works year round online uh, consulting and with oncology patients and so on. Um, but she set up her life where part of the year she's in Colorado and part of the year she's in Mexico. Uh, and so, you know, I think that ultimately you can create the lifestyle that you want. And there's a, a, a very much a possibility to do that within the naturopathic paradigm. Uh, but ultimately you have to ask yourself, what, what is the life I want? You know, what, what is it that, that drives me? What am I passionate about? And how do I get there? Um, is it too late to register for the virtual fair? No, please come. Uh, I, I just realized that wasn't on the slide and it should have been. Uh, so the, the virtual fair is tomorrow. AANMC will host a virtual fair and uh, that will be uh, online so you can be wherever you're at and we're going to have two sessions so we're going to have a morning session and an afternoon session so uh you know if you're a morning person or you're on a different time zone and that works better for you you, you can feel free to come then or if you are you know on a later time zone or that works better for your schedule you can do either one so that that would be great uh, and then uh, last question, this webinar uh, will be posted. Uh, the AANMC will put it on our YouTube station and HPW may as well, uh, but we will have it available and we can also circulate it on social media. Um, and so with that, I appreciate you spending a little time with me, Joanne Yanez, learning about naturopathic medicine. And uh, I'm happy to answer questions uh, further if you want to uh, reach out to us. I-N-F-O, info at A-A-N-M-C dot org is how you reach us. And with that, I uh, hope you all have a great day.
Fantastic.